Well, as expected, the Pope has done it again. He has made statements that those of us that trust Bibles know he has gone directly against that which is written. Check this out. Pope Francis compares Vatican whistleblower to Satan. And the article says, Satan, the great accuser, has been unleashed against the bishops of the church, Pope Francis said Tuesday, in a thinly veiled reference to the former Vatican nuncio to the United States. The former nuncio, Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano, recently accused a number of prelates of dereliction of duty in dealing with clerical sex abuse and claimed that the Pope had rehabilitated serial abuser Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, elevating him to a position of influence despite knowledge of his misdeeds. Kind of sounds like Cardinal Law, if you remember, right? He helped many priests molest children, and then he was promoted in the Vatican. But for those wondering why the Pope says things the Bible boldly declares to be lies, you need to keep in mind that the Popes of Rome are more political than they are religious in every sense of the word. In fact, they are the carriers of ancient Roman politics into modern day. What he's doing here when scandals like this come forward that can rock the church to its core is what any politician is going to do. He is simply appealing to his base. What I mean is, the Pope knows most Roman Catholics don't read Bibles because that's how they're taught. They're taught not to trust the Scriptures. And so he knows when he says things like this, the larger number that trusts him more than the Bible are going to stay loyal to him and actually believe what he says as if it was a biblical utterance. And in so doing, they will sit tight in that pew. And so he's going with the numbers here. I mean, this is just one more way for obedient Christians to easily declare who the man of sin is simply because our knowledge has been increased, as promised, due to simple Bible study. The popes of Rome, who have been confirmed with many historic doc files and videos in just the last generation alone, has been confirmed to be a Satanist who is right now accusing people that outed him and his cohorts for their blatant evil acts against children for many decades. These evil popes, and today's Jesuit pope is even worse than most, they seem to think that when the Vatican is exposed as child rapists and their nuns are exposed as killers, that those exposing them are somehow very evil for exposing them. I mean, this proves the popes will ignore the Bible to keep the political base in the church by simply lying to them. Besides all the well-sourced documents with biblically inept statements from all previous popes claiming to speak biblically that I have listed on over 14,000 pages of my main site at RemedyGod.org, notice what it says in Ephesians 5, verses 11 and 12, that the popes know most Catholics have no clue is found in their very own Bibles because they won't read them. It says that as Christians, we must have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. And we know it's pretty disgusting what they're doing behind closed doors with these children, right? The Pope is openly declaring the exact opposite of what the Bible says to do when evil is afoot in the church. As per prophetic evidence in the Word of God, this is the norm for Rome when it comes to everything from calling a man on earth father to gathering for worship on a Sabbath day that was never sanctioned by the Lord. In fact, as I stated in a previous video, I will offer anyone $5,000 cash for one Bible verse that says God changed the Sabbath from the seventh day of the week to the first day of the week for the Christian church. This Pope and all popes before him are standing in the long prophesied line of damnation waiting for the judgment to fall upon them as it is written in Isaiah 5 verse 20, which says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their blossoms shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. The bottom line is this. Satan is the accuser of the brethren, yes. But there is a major difference between being accused of doing something you never did to being outed by literally millions of victims and witnesses the last few centuries for what these popes, prelates, priests, and nuns have actually been doing all along to these innocent little children. Claiming those that outed the Pope and his cohorts as the ones in sin here is about as believable as declaring the popes, prelates, priests, and nuns of Rome as being men and women of God. Thank you for watching. God bless.